What's up, everybody? Welcome back to TMNT 2, the arcade game. It's fought. Apparently his name was, uh... Baxter was in the, the flying contraption, and then... I forget what the last guy's name was, because I looked up a couple of, of, of the names that I... of the past bosses that I fought. The first one was called Rocksteady, that was the Rhino. Uh, the pig I can't remember, and then Baxter was in the flying machine. So, oh fuck! Get away from that. Yeah. Apparently a fucking nick from a, a nunchuck is gonna make that barrel explode, so... Be careful around exploding barrels with your nunchucks, people. They are dangerous. We got these... These fucking ghost guys again. Two hits, they're dead. Fuck them. They don't... I don't take no shit from them at all. These foot soldiers, these foot clan foot soldiers... Nothing. Nothing at all. They are not of concern to me. For I am... A Mutant Ninja Turtle. Of the teenage variety. You know, once I get older... You know, once the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles grow up, do they just go by the Mutant Ninja Turtles? Or they, they take off the Mutant as well? They just go with... Uh, we're the Ninja Turtles. I think they, I think they did call themselves just the Ninja. Well, I think in the shows they just called themselves the Ninja Turtles. They didn't really call themselves the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ever. Not, not that I can recall either in the shows or like the movies or anything. Like maybe when they first introduced themselves to somebody, they would call themselves that. But I think they just went by the Ninja Turtles within their group, as far as I can remember. But, you know, it's been a while since I've watched some of that stuff and played games. Oh no! Watch out, fucker! Oh, I didn't kill anybody. I wanted that guy to be standing right next to it and just explode along with it. That would have been funny to me. But instead, you know, whatever. Doesn't bother me at all. And I love this- I love this music right now. Fucking the actual, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles music. Turtles in a half show. Turtle power. It's the best. I like, I really like, like, video game music. One of the best things to listen to, honestly. It's... Oh, fuck! That car came out of nowhere. They even stopped and let me fucking get some insurance off of him. Yeah, it must be every 200 kills you get another life. But, like, video game music, just fantastic. Almost every single game you you can find is like, wow, this music is fucking great. Like, something that's not realistic, like... L.A. Noir or something like that. It's not realistic music, but... You know. It's still good. Whoa, fuck. I mean, they got old-timey music and that kind of shit. But, lost a life there. That's not good. So, I don't know exactly what we're doing in the parking lot. God damn, those cars come out of nowhere and they just beat the shit out of me. What the hell? Goddamn Sunday drivers don't know what the fuck they're doing. Whatever. It's, it is kind of funny, like, in these old-time arcade games where you just get transported from location to location with, you know, no transition in between. It's like, yeah, we were just outside in the snow and now we're in this parking garage. Whatever. Fight people. Kill, kill, kill. It's funny to me. Oh, come on, kill them, kill them, kill them. Oh, yeah, I got two of them. That was the best. Oh, shit. Yeah, fuck you. Whoa, what the hell is that? How did I do that? I don't even know how I did that. Let me try it. How did I do that? No. Did I hit him at the same time? It was a cool, like, spinning hit. I don't know how I did it now. I'm trying to think if I hit both buttons at the same time it happens. Or what. But it didn't seem like it was working. So, fuck it. Whatever. It's a cool move, but can't do it anymore, so whatever. Oh, fucking throwing your ninja stars at me. Don't get that in my eye. 
You have to take me to an animal hospital and fix it. Just cure it. Just pretend to be a dog. We, we can't get in trouble. I'm making a lot of references to uh, good times with weapons in these in these in these playthroughs so far. I mean, he's got nunchucks and they got the ninja stars and you know. There's April. Is she not wearing shoes? April, cover up your feet. It's cold. Shit. I got a pizza over there, so I can get my health all the way down here and then get the pizza. I'll get my health all the way back up. I forget what this what this guy's name is. I don't know what this dude's name is. I don't I don't think this is the same guy from before. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Use your fucking kick power. That way you can get across the map in one goddamn fellow swoop. It's a fly guy though. I like this. I like. I said this earlier when they when they showed the the cutscene of this guy. I remember this guy from TMNT, uh, Turtles in Time, because he's the first enemy that you fight. He's the first boss that you fight. I think before you go back in time. I think that's before you go back in time. Those things. Those are pain in the ass. He's got what is that? A fucking axe? Dude's got a goddamn axe along with his energy orbs. I don't know what to call him. I thought I killed him there when I hit him. He does the he does like the the dead animation. It doesn't look like he's just reeling back from getting hit. But yeah, jump and kick, jump and kick. That's uh that's the formula for most of these fucking bosses. At least especially the flying ones. But the but on the ground too, those bosses, jump and kick. And you're probably gonna do pretty good. Teabag. Oh sweet, we saved April! Good job, Michelangelo. Well, that's the end of the game, I guess, but, uh... Alright. Nothing more to do here. We get in our turtle van or something? Our turtle RV, and we're out of here. Aww. Nice. Big ol' smooch. Scene four. Let's get to that secret factory. Let's get to that secret factory, shall we? They're throwing fucking blades at me. What the hell's wrong with these people? Throwing blades? Really? Why don't you stab me? Throwing blades is for fucking children. Yo, I can block your shit with my nunchucks. That's just funny though. You can he can block like Whoa, where the fuck spears? I like how they lose the spears when I hit them initially. Watch. It just goes away. <laughs> Freaking spear truckers here again. There are a ton of games that have people that throw spears. They just chuck them around the map. And they're always annoying. I don't I don't know if I can I can block a spear attack. I don't think I can. I think don't think the nunchucks are capable of blocking a spear. But you know Oh fuck! I cars. And it's just it's just perfect. It's like, yeah. You put you you make it so that I have to walk in the front of the of the of the stage and then a big ass car comes and hits me. It's like, okay, yeah, you know, I saw that coming. No big deal or anything. But fuck. Oh yeah. There we go. You sledgehammer ain't got shit. I'm gonna tell you that. Oh these robots again. Stun block them into the corner. Stun lock them in the corner. Just nailing them. Nothing. You got nothing. Oh, there! Oh, I thought I had him. I thought I had him stun locked in the corner. There we go. You're stuck. You're screwed. Stun locked. Nope. That was pretty easy, actually. Those robots were not that tough. And dynamite. Always with the dynamites. Really? Hooah! Fuck your shit. I like how it just explodes on impact, even though the wick is like exceedingly longer than where it's exploding. You know, on impact explosions. It doesn't hurt them at all, but. Oh, I must be at the maximum. Am I at the maximum counter for death? No, okay, there it goes up. So I, I didn't think the, the counter was going up there when I was killing those dynamite guys. I would've, I would've, that would have made no sense. I'd have been like, why is 362 the max that I can get, especially since I get a new level? Every time I kill 200 people. Or I should say, I get a new life every time I kill 200 people. That makes no friggin' sense. 
Whatever. Not concerned. Fuck! I have not avoided one car that's hit me. Like, I have not avoided one car that's been coming at me. I've just gotten nailed by every single one of them. Can I do something with this? Yeah, they just got bombs. It's like, fuck it. We got these bombs. Don't worry about it. They're just like, tor they're, they're torpe- They look like torpedoes that would be just in a submarine. They're just carrying them around casually. Yeah, it makes sense. You know, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Fucking motorcycles. I gotta knock these guys off. There we go. One hit dead. Fuck your wheelie. Dead. Nope. Oh, I still got hit. We got it. There we go. I can just keep advancing here. Fuck your bikes, I guess. Whatever. There's gonna be a car that comes, so I'm gonna get into the middle. Actually, I should get... Oh! Uh, how did I get hit by the car? I was out of its range. That's bullshit. How did I get hit by that car? There's no fucking way. That's a load of crap. Whatever. Ain't that concerning to me right now. Came out of nowhere! What are you doing? Get out of here, Footman. Footman, Foot Clan. I wonder if I actually, like, lose all my lives if I go back to 19 or if I go back to 2. Because if you if you lose all your lives in this game, you don't just lose. You get three continues. But if you have, if you continue, you gotta go back to the start of the of the level. So I wonder if you just go back to 19 lives if you use the cheat or if you go back to two. My guess is you go back to two. I doubt the game knows that I had the cheat code in there if I die. I mean, it knows I had it in there because I got it, but... Another life! I guess I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna try anyway. I'm just gonna keep going until I lose all my lives anyway, so... Why not? Purple tires. Oh, shit! Why? Did not see that one coming. How did I not see that one coming? Honestly. I really should have seen that one coming. I also want to see how many... How many... Enemies there are total, because, you know, the, t the enemy total piles up, so... Eventually, when I, f when I beat the whole game, it'll have a maximum counter on there, unless unless the cheat code doesn't go through for giving me 19 lives if I run out. Because then I'll probably have to reset and use the stage select. Which is fine. Because that's, that's what that's there for. Because otherwise, I would never get through this game probably either. But, it's an arcade game. It's meant to suck up quarters. And that's the end of the stage, I guess. No boss fight. Cool. Oh, shit. Uh, is that my boss fight? <laughs> Fighting a fucking helicopter? That doesn't even look like anybody's in it. It just looks like uh, an unmanned aircraft. And I'm riding a, m uh, what? <laughs> a a gas powered skateboard shooting out flames <laughs> I love this stage though these are always good stages like the fuck the uh god damn it I'm getting corner trapped there the when the turtles are on skateboards and just knocking people off of skateboards those are always fun levels I gotta watch out to get corner trapped here again it's bullshit there we go there we go oh this is Always fun level. I love these levels. I do. And everybody's on skateboards and it makes... It's like, it's basically a normal level. I mean, it could be... This could be just a normal level of me walking. And fighting people. But you know what? They're like skateboards. Skateboards with rockets on them. Why not? I mean... Why wouldn't you want that? It'd be crazy. It'd be crazy not to want that. Because it just makes sense. Honestly, just makes sense. Oh, shit. This, this could be an explanation of why, how we could travel, like, so far. It's like, a, it's a train... Well, this is... 
You could call this a transition stage, but it's just like any of the other stages. It's like any of the other stages, except he's on a skateboard, and the, and the background's moving very quickly. That's the only difference. I mean, I move the exact same speed as any other thing. If I had moved, if I was moving a, sh a lot quicker than if I was walking on this skateboard, I mean, that would make it different. But I'm moving the exact same speed. That must be that must be the end of the level. Cause I'm not doing anything. There we go. We got to jump into the turtle van, of course. I mean, what else could you do there? Oh, fuck! Why would you just drive into that? Scene 5! Come on, let's bust this joint! Well, this seems like a good place to end for today. They got Splinter! Son of a bitch. Gotta take these fucks down. But that'll happen next time. So thank you guys for watching, I will see you guys next time.